Welcome to Wager Talk TV. It's the 145th Kentucky Derby. We're gonna run for the roses. So I wear, I think this is kind of like a rose. I don't know. I'm not this girly, I swear. I borrowed this dress, I had to. Yeah, this, I mean, this is a very Kentucky Derby dress. And I thought we would play the part today, Marco. Only thing we're missing, is those disgusting mint juleps. I'd rather uh, take a shot of bourbon than drink one of those. We should have had a bourbon sponsor. We, we dropped the yeah, ball on that Yeah, I really that thought one. about that, but like, I don't really we'll like bourbon. My problem is but I like whiskey, official, so I'm just sitting. It's the official sitting. drink of the Kentucky. They gotta have bourbon. I bring my bottle of Jameson, and I just like <laughs> sit here, and you're like, that doesn't count. You should yeah, know, you used to be yeah. a freaking cocktail waitress, let's, Kelly. Let's work on that uh, next year, get a sponsor. Let's just get drunk next year and talk about horses. Then our videos are like all over the place. They're already all over the That'll place. That'll be Saturday. You'll this see is, us at the South Point. Oh, God. Yeah, Ralph told oh, yeah, me about South Point. Yeah, yeah if you guys are uh, Wager Talk family and you want to come join us at the South Point, it's going to be a fun day. Okay, this is our long shots underdog video. Because why? Because everybody wants that 20 to 1 horse to come in. Why? Because then we all get paid. Uh, by the way, if you guys need a little bit of help on your Kentucky Derby bets, Marco is going to have a package up for Saturday. You're going to get his top sports bet in either baseball or NBA. He's going to include his betting guide in there. Just throw it in there for you guys. It's normally $39. We're going to give it to you for $29 using coupon code MARCO10. All right, Marco, I'm ready for these long shots. Time to take notes. Oh, here's the, uh, the ticket that, speaking of long shots, had the one horse back in 2017 to place $26.60. Sense. I Good like point. it. Yeah, even paid decent for show. It was a big. Uh, it was over ten dollars. Yeah, for fifteen show. bucks for show. Yeah, it's an, it's insane. Um, and you noticed as you, uh, you know, very uh, astutely noticed. You said he was the number one horse, Marco. You told me that's the worst post position. This is true. We talked about this the other day because I said, Marco, I need a little bit of help. Uh, growing up, my dad always just said, hey, Cal, we're going to bet these horses, yeah. and I just cheered. Yeah. I never learned how to handicap horses. I never really spent a lot of time on it. It's exciting, but there's guys like you, so why am I going to waste my time trying mm. to learn this craft at 35 years old? You did tell me, though. Kelly, nah, 5 through 10 is great. Okay, here's a couple other post positions that are great. The one horse really doesn't win, and so I'm looking going, wait, this is a one horse. Well, the one horse, if you're a speed horse, that is the death sentence because you're going to just get buried down at the rail or you're going to have to use so much of your horse leaving out of there to try to beat everybody that's coming from the outside. He was looking at Lee in 2017, our long shot horse, was a stone cold closer. So it didn't matter that he had the rail because he was going to be at the back of the pack. No anyways. matter what. Okay. So he just took back and he had the rail and he got a clean trip. Corey Lannery was the jockey on him. Corey Lanner is his home base track is Louisville. He knows the Churchill Down Oval. He knows how to get around that track. And he gave him a ground saving, perfect trip up the rail, moved just to the outside once and then back to the rail. And he was flying at the end. And I was like, you know, it was amazing I didn't have a heart attack when I saw him coming down the stretch. <laughs> because at the top of the stretch, I thought he was, you know, he could catch the horse for the win. And then right. we would have. Really lit up the tote board, but then uh, you would have really owed the IRS yeah. too much money. Okay, so this year I need to know who uh, who this horse is. Well, for this year. the looking at Lee horse, the angle from having a troubled trip was win win win. We talked about him yes. in an individual uh, video, so he is definitely one of the long shots you have to use. Another long shot you have to use. We talked about Code of Honor. Code of Honor is a horse that raced in the Florida Derby. Any horse that was a closer in the Florida Derby had zero chance, but this horse still came from way back to finish third. If he would have had honest fractions in that race, probably would have been first or second for sure. I think he gets a big race on Saturday if they go good fractions and he gets the clean trip, he's a horse to consider. Now the third horse that I had for our long shot, number 11, Heikau, I heard some rumblings this morning that possibly he may be a late scratch. And the reason being is he had some foot problems um, they're monitoring it. Um, they think he's developing an abscess, and if that happens, we'll end up, uh, they call it popping a gravel. Um, he won't race on Saturday, so we got to wait and see. But so there if is he a possibility go, we could have a 19 horse field. Definitely a possibility okay. of a 19 horse field. Um, he is a horse that definitely, he'll be the last horse you hear called uh, when they do the first rundown in the Kentucky Derby because he will be last or next to last, and he's a horse that just comes what flying about, at the end. Uh, is it Bodie Express? Bodie Express got moved in. He's, right. a, spe he's a speed horse, and because he's going to have the outside post position, he will be leaving, and he's the horse that ran second to uh, maximum security in the Florida Derby. As you know, I'm not that high on maximum security because he hasn't been tested yet, and the horse that finished second 
to him in that race and had the perfect, you know, two-hole trip behind the horses and couldn't go past them. This horse is a maiden, okay? So I don't like maximum security because he stole the Florida Derby. Right. The first three races were cheap competition, and the horse that he beat in the Florida Derby hasn't won a race yet. Okay, Got it. so okay. that's that's why I'm not high on maximum security. Okay, and like I said, if he proves that he is better than his pedigree and everything that he's done so far, then it's probably going to hurt Marco on Saturday. It's probably going <laughs> to hurt Marco, guys. I gave you out a deal to start the video. Yeah. Coupon code Marco10. You get Marco's best Saturday bet plus his Kentucky Derby betting guide. But if you're looking for a better deal, you get his seven-day all-access package. You get all of his plays, including the Kentucky Derby on Saturday, normally 119 but if you use coupon code DERBY75, you get all 70, seven days for just 75 bucks. Guys, Saturday alone $39 or 29 with that coupon code I told you about. So this is a great deal. Happy cheering for the Kentucky Derby on Saturday.